What's going on guys, Sir Lewis here, and today I'm going to show you guys probably the most important video if you guys like to post a lot on Instagram and if you guys edit your photos a lot on your phone because I'm going to show you guys the best photo editing app for iPhones and Android if you have an Android as well. And honestly guys, this photo editing app is going to it's gonna basically change you into a model, honestly. It's that good. I'm going to show you guys how to use it. It's easy, it's simple, and I'm going to show you guys how to use it right now. So let me stop beating around the bush and let's get straight to it. I also use this app on my computer. Okay, it's called Lightroom CC, Adobe Lightroom CC. I use this on the computer as you guys can see right here. Oh no, you can't because my border is on the bottom, but I use this to like edit my camera photos. I take like shots and I edit it on the computer as well. And they have an app for it on the phone and it's by Adobe. And you guys know anything about Adobe is official. So you know this is gonna be a really, really good app. All right, they also made a Photoshop and like um, Adobe Premiere Pro, which is like a video editor. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna show you guys here how to use it. Also guys, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for the, the app store to get this app and the play store for Android. So as you guys can see right here, obviously when you guys first get it, you're not gonna have any photos. So what do you do is right here to add photos, you click on the plus sign right here at the bottom, boom, and then you're gonna see all your photos right here. You just scroll, you just scroll to the one that you guys want to add. Um, let me just check. Okay, uh, just checking right here. Oh, this one right here. All right, so after you guys find the one you guys want, just click on it, and here at the top, you see the check sign. Click on that check, all right, and then boom, it's in the gallery. Now, you can keep adding photos, or once you're done, you want to edit just that one photo, you click on it, all right, and then you can start editing, guys. And I'm going to show you guys how to edit manually, autoly. It's really simple. It might look confusing right now, but I'm telling you guys it's worth it. I mean, this is going to turn you into a model, literally, all right, so let me get straight into it. So... They set it up so you go on, you want to go from left to right, okay? So the first thing is you guys are going to want to do is on the left. So right here we have crop. So if you guys want to crop it straight ahead, you can crop it right now or later if you guys want. So click on plus if you guys want to crop it. Then next what we have is profiles. I'm going to explain what that is. That basically is like your own filter so you can make your own filter. The reason why they have this is because let's say I have a lot of similar photos, right? And it's like the same lighting, the same place, but I don't want to like edit the photo all over again. The next three photos all over again, you know, it's kind of tedious. And why would I do that if I could just make my own filter and then add that filter to the next photos? So that's why they have this at the end. After you're done editing, you just save the filter, right? And then it'll save as the profile. And then once you go to the next photo, you just click on the profile and then boom, right? It just changes it. It's a lot easier and it makes it easy on your part. So let's click plus. Now, the next thing here, guys, this auto feature is amazing, guys. Oh my gosh, I use this literally all the time. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, um, every time that I use this app, like 80% of the time, I just pressed, I just use the auto feature and I don't even edit it anymore. I just press auto and then I just probably add like some effects, like a vignette or something. And then I just go with that. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys here what this actually does. So basically, when you click on the auto feature, it basically edit it. I can't talk. It basically edit it. <sighs> it basically edits your photo automatically. I'm telling you guys, every time that I use this before, it just looks amazing. So let's use it right here so we can see the difference. So click on it, boom, and look at that, guys. Look at that difference. I'm gonna show you guys the before. So to look at it before, you just hold on to the screen and then to look at it after, you just let go. So this is how it looked like before and this is how it looks like now after using the edit feature. Look at that. It just looks a lot more vibrant. It's like, it like pops out. The colors are a lot better. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Most of the time, I just use this and then I just add like some cool effects and then that's it. But if you guys don't like the auto feature, maybe it wasn't the best for that specific photo. All right, you just click here at the top, undo. All right, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to edit it manually. And it's really simple. Obviously, you wanna go from left to right. So next thing we have here is light. Now the light, you guys can use right here, the exposure at the top. Uh, usually what I do is I add less exposure. I don't wanna add more, because it looks kinda, you know, it's too, way too bright. So usually I have like a negative 15 around there. I'm gonna show you guys the difference. So this is how it looks like before, and then now. So you guys can see that. Then contrast, you can add contrast if you guys want. And the next we have highlights, look at that. 
less or more. Then we can have shadows, you can make your shadows pop out more or less. And then here are whites, you can make your whites pop out more, you can see that white car behind me. And then here we have black, so you can make the black out, like this is without it and this is with it. So that's for lights. After you're done with that, you go to the color. Now, the color is actually really useful and I'm going to show you guys how to use the color. So let's say you just want to, you maybe you want to, you maybe you want to make the sky look more blue, right? Or like the, the trees more green, like in the back right here. So let's say I just want to make the sky look more blue. So you just go right here to, to mix here, press mix. Then you go here to the blue section. All right. And then you can change it around. So look, you can change it around. You can see the color changing. You can see the sky changing colors. So this is how the sky looked like before. And this is how it looks like now. So it just looks a lot more vibrant as you guys can see. And then here we have vibrant saturation if you guys want to mess around with that. The next thing we have here is effects. Now effects, there's a lot of cool things here like vignette. If you guys like adding vignettes to your photo, it's basically like the black around it. I'm going to show you guys the before and after. All right, you guys can see the edges. Is, you can see the edges are like kind of like shaded. And then here I like using the haze as well. The haze, like if you guys want like a photo like that, that's a really cool. Um, filter but I like using it up so it makes it more like uh, vibrant so you guys can see the difference and then boom look at that I don't really use detail that much but if you guys want to make your your photos more sharp and you can use that if you guys want and then after that you're basically done guys and then here we have some presets automatically presets but you don't have to add those and then after you guys are done editing your photo you guys can just go right here to the top where it has this little button right here that one right there you click on that and then you press save to camera roll all right and then after that you guys want to press maxima available because you guys want the best photo obviously click on that rendering and then boom it saves to your camera roll gallery whatever you guys want to call it and then you're basically done guys and after you leave let's see if I go back right here after I leave and I go back to that photo it's gonna save all the edited things that I did in that photo and that's really cool because not many apps have this today. As many apps, after you're done editing the photo, it just unsaves it. And when you go back, it's just like all over again. So that's really cool about this. It saves all of it in here in this gallery. So if you guys want to go back and edit it all over again, you guys can't and you won't lose any progress. So yeah, guys, there you go. I'm telling you guys, this is going to change you guys into models. All right. When you guys post on the Instagram. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave it in the comments below and leave a like, leave a comment, whatever you guys want. Subscribe if you haven't yet and catch you guys in the next one. Peace.